During a portrait shoot, um, first and foremost, I think my responsibility is to, first of all, have a, uh, a reverence for the assignment and what the assignment, the parameters of the assignment, how the assignment and how the subject uh, of the article, especially in a magazine setting, uh, would affect the outcome of the, or would affect the image. I think my goal uh, doing portrait work is to uh, create a likeness of the individual that's galvanized in that still photograph. Uh, oftentimes when I'm photographing people that are in the media and well-known, uh, we've seen them many, many times in uh, many different situations, whether it's in you know, a paparazzi photograph or photographs in other magazines or in film. And uh, I have to really acknowledge the fact that the likeness is really important. and. Uh, allowing that individual be recognizable, but still within that, uh, allowing my artistic sensibility to help that and to augment that. Um, in terms of making uh, subjects comfortable within a shoot, I feel like I have really good people skills and I usually try to find common ground, whether it's a mutual friend or a project that the individual under, you know, participated in that moved me or that I, I'd seen, a book that I'd read, you know, a career that I'd followed. And uh, that's usually pretty easy to do, to find common ground, especially when, you know, the, the goal of the day is to, is to do a job. I think the subject as well is aware that it's good to sort of uh, strike and establish, you know, establish a, a rapport. Um, in terms of uh, making them feel comfortable during the setting, I think it's really important to uh, to really make it clear that I'm in control of the situation, that I'm not wavering, uh, that I really have done my homework and that I've set things up, and uh, that the, f the subject feels like they can be walked through the situation, that I'm not wishy-washy about what I want to do, that I really have a good sense of what I want to do. And I call it, you know, having plan A, but always keeping myself open to plan B, you know, if something presents itself. Oftentimes, doing a shoot, things that I couldn't have imagined will happen, and that really brings a lot to the shoot. I tend to photograph a lot of actors, which are really familiar with uh, the camera, and they're also very familiar with the visual communication, and, uh, and familiar with sort of the artistic pursuit. And so I find them really, really great to work with. Um, usually what I'll do is indicate early on that rather than doing a photo shoot, they think of this as a portrait session. I think that changes the mindset of the individual to a certain extent. And they uh, understand that maybe they're not really required to drive the bus, that I'll drive the bus and I'll talk them through what's happening. And it's a little more staid and a little more studied. And uh, I think right off the bat, people are, are really relieved that, it, that I don't have any expectations of them bringing a whole lot to the shoot initially. You know, they're not having to think of like what to do. I can talk them through it and I can indicate what I need and what I want. And uh, I think that's very comforting to the subjects.